Well, author Oliver Jeffers has entertained millions around the world with his whimsical tales and beautiful illustrations adored by both adults and children alike. And his latest book celebrates 20 years of the boy with the book, Where to Hide a Star. And we'd like to welcome Oliver Jeffers to CP24 Breakfast right now. He joins us from New York, but he's going to be in town in Toronto this weekend on November 2nd for a book signing uh, in partnership with the bookstore Mabel's Fables. Oliver, thanks so much for joining us. I want to say thank you because uh, one of the first books I bought for my son when he was born was How to Catch a Star. It was a trilogy collection of small books, and I was just so blown away with the imagination and the beautiful illustrations and how it touches on themes that are that are kind of adult and complex, but you make it so it's accessible for the child as well. Uh, where did the inspiration come from to create these beautiful books? Well, I think I've always been interested in storytelling. And as I continue to make art as I grew older, because, you know, the Picasso always said, all children, all humans are born artists. The <laughs> trick is to remember how you remain one as mm. you grow older. Uh, and I think I just remembered the tail end of the way in which I saw the world and felt about things as I was growing up. And uh, art making uh, in a way that tells stories, because I also make paintings, I always just thought that books are the best way to do that. You know, there's a special relationship between a picture book as an object, a parent and a child, and this kind of pyramid relationship that is a, it's a, it's a very bonding experience. So the, I've been doing it for 20 years. Uh, mm -hmm. How to Catch a Star came out 20 years ago last month, if you can believe huh. that. Wow. wow. That is phenomenal. I know. And so, mm -hmm. Oliver, Where to Hide a Star, uh, the inspiration for this, uh, the creativity, it's, it's a beautiful book, beautiful illustrations here. How did you come up with the with the latest concept then? Well, you know, the so the characters in that book, there's the, the boy, unnamed boy, who's been in several books, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then his sidekick, the penguin, and the Martian. And the last time I touched those characters was maybe 15 years ago. Uh, and it's as I now read books to my kids, it just was always at the back of my head that I might want to revisit them at some point. Um, and sometimes the the best form of an idea in a in a series of old books with old characters is the introduction of a new character. So thinking about it like that, and you know, just touching on some of these themes, as you say, that uh, that that relate both to adults and kids. This one is the idea of sharing, and you know, I think that's <laughs> that's uh, very relevant in the in the words. And it's something we teach our kids to do from day one, but it's not something that we remember as adults how to do yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. And Oliver, uh, talk about your creative process. Does a story idea come to you through the illustration first, or, or do you develop it with, with the words? Uh, I develop it with the words. I uh, was at a, a, a book signing once, and somebody asked, Would it, which do you do first, the words or the pictures? And, and I says, I, I kind of do them both at the same time. And some kid at the very front went, Wow, and I was like, "Well, no, not literally quite like that." But uh, I, as the as a storyteller who thinks in words and pictures, I've got the advantage of trying to have the pictures do the lion's share of the story. So when I'm working it out, yeah, I'm thinking about well, what happens in each bit? What does it look like? What does it sound like? And the, uh, so they they kind of grow up together. Hmm. Yeah, very quickly, Oliver, uh, which uh, book is your children's favorite? Um, of mine, I, you know, I don't know. I haven't actually read them all, <laughs> my own books. Uh, my daughter went to the library with her school look a month or two ago and she came home and said, Daddy, did you do something, uh, a book of, <laughs> with something to do with crayons? And I said, yeah, have I never read that to you? She goes, no. So uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think the one that, that they like uh, most of mine, for, well, for both of them is for Here We Are for My Son because it's about him. Aww. And uh, What We'll Build is my daughter's favorite because it's about her. So, yeah, they're self-centered little creatures uh. right now. <laughs> As children are. Yeah, well, yeah. we wish you a happy Halloween today. And thank you so much for joining us. You can catch Oliver Jeffers at Mabel's Fables this weekend on November the 2nd for a book signing at 1230. Thank you so much for joining us, Oliver.